freaking her ass in the back of here. Good, good, you know what I'm saying? This is none other than my man, you know what I'm saying? C Jam, you know what I'm saying? I, from what I heard, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker left just music, but this is the last album that he dropped under the label, you know what I'm saying? And it's called Get or some shit like that, which means like he is or something, you know what I'm saying? And I, I believe he has like, you know what I'm saying, seven, eight songs, I'm not sure. It's a new fucking album, you know what I'm saying? I think it's like nine songs, you know what I'm saying? It's a studio album, and this song's called like, I thought it was Udon Bruce, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, Udon, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure, you know what I'm saying? Do let me know what that means. It's one of the songs from the album. Y'all just said re reacted to the album, you know what I'm saying? But it's difficult to do a whole album review right now, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know which song to pick. So it was a very, you know what I'm saying, random play. But do let me know if there are like certain songs that stick out more that you want me to react to more. But anyway, man, we're gonna get straight into this song, man. Let's get it, man. Alright, hopefully I hopped on this fast enough and shout out to my man's Optimus Prime once again for getting the subtitles because one of the reasons, you know what I'm saying, of course, out of, you know what I'm saying, if you take like the busyness out of my life, you know what I'm saying, one of the things that kind of prevents me from reacting things certain, you know what I'm saying, certain things straight away is because there's only the subtitles, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, man, this motherfucker always coming through for me, man, shout out to my man's Optimus Prime, man, anyway, let's go. Alright, let's see what he brings. Uh huh. Very type of Indian type of painting, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. This is how should I say it it kind of has like a very you know what I'm saying his, his old album you know what I'm saying Kong I believe you know what I'm saying like we touched upon that before it kind of has a lot of like the borrowed vibes from that album but it's very different at the same time, you know what I'm saying? But it obviously got, you know what I'm saying, his echoey, you know what I'm saying, vocals coming through, you know what I'm saying? And then you got that kind of like drawn out, slowed instruments, you know what I'm saying? Kind of stripped at times, and then you get that very, you know what I'm saying? Not indie rock, not psychedelic, it's not really, you know what I'm saying? R&B either, it's not really pop, it's not really contemporary, it's not really like ballad per se either, but you know what I'm saying? He has kind of, it, it is it is a variation of hip-hop in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Kind of reminds me with the sense and stuff, kind of does remind me, you know what I'm saying, of like different artists, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like trippy red in a sense too, you know what I'm saying? He does this kind of shit too, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of more, more drawn out, you know what I'm saying, in a sense, but anyway, anyway. <laughs> So good, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm literally just drowning in it. You know what I'm saying? Sonically, sound wise, the soundscape is so dope. The production is so dope. I believe it, the same guy who produced the album Kong, you know what I'm saying? Produced this shit too, from what I hear. His name's like, um,. Not Jimmy Page, what's this guy's name, man? This is Jim something? I forget, you know what I'm saying? I kind of heard his name before, but I believe it's the same motherfucker producing, you know what I'm saying? Um, this album as well, but at the end, when you got the echoey ad that's going on, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like, it kind of just draws you in, and then his lyrics too, man. It's like, he's not like saying a lot, but the shit he's saying is really deep, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, take everything away from me. So all I have left is you, you know what I'm saying? You're the only place I could go to and the type of like infatuation, you know what I'm saying? And when he says stuff like, oh, I'm, you're like almost like my idol, you know what I'm saying? The type of love, infatuation, that type of, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like that 
intense passion that he feels for this girl or whoever he's talking about in all these albums, you know what I'm saying? It's written so well, you know what I'm saying? It encapsulates that type of like person who's just drunk in that feeling, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what this feels like, you know what I'm saying? Yo you're pretty much like under the influence at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a sense, like, how should I say? It's that type of experience when you listen to, you know what I'm saying? See Jam, in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's alcohol, maybe it's like psychedelics, whatever it is. But this music kind of like puts you in like that state of just like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like floating or some shit. Like, I don't even know how to, you know what I'm saying? Kind of probably work. <laughs> One thing about C Jam song, that's one thing about C Jam songs that I wish, you know what I'm saying, that he changes, that he makes it a bit longer. But I know today's format as well. But also the fact that it is short does have its, you know what I'm saying, pros, obviously, you know what I'm saying. But wow, Wu Don was crazy, you know what I'm saying. Wu Don was crazy. Like I said, just like he just knows, man. He just knows how to draw you in, you know what I'm saying. It's like he's kind of like. Slowly, almost like drawing you in into his, his world, you know what I'm saying? How he feels, the way he feels, the way he, you know what I'm saying, the thoughts that he has, the way he knows how to translate that sonically, you know what I'm saying? It is just, it's just another level, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this guy, like, has, is one of the artists that's gone through, you know what I'm saying, the most, you know what I'm saying, like, exponential evolution almost as an artist. The way he experiments, the way he uses different sounds. I feel like the sonically, when it comes to soundscapes and sounds, and you know what I'm saying, the way he's playing around with things, like, he, at this point, you know what I'm saying, this motherfucker is really gonna, like, you know what I'm saying, evolve and, like, become almost like, you know what I'm saying, like, how should I say, like, the leader of that, you know what I'm saying, sound that comes out of Korea. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I feel like this guy is just going somewhere, somewhere special. That's how I feel, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, man, this effort today, I'm gonna be rapping to you know, a couple more songs from his album, obviously, to get a more, you know what I'm saying, holistic view of, you know what I'm saying, what the soundscape is like, obviously, you know what I'm saying, and I'm gonna check it out on my own time as well, you know what I'm saying, but this was super dope, man. This shit's fire, but anyway, man, this is it for today. Keep liking, subscribing, you know, all that good shit, man. Shout out to my man, see Jam one more time, man. We, 